So here we have the SATA air tester. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to test the quality of the air which is flowing through our airlines into the booth. So what I would do if we was going to test all the airlines here in the booth, we've got six outlets. So I'd get an airline, I'd get one which is a good quality airline as well. So I know there's going to be no contamination in that airline which can give us a false reading. So we'll open up the SATA air tester and straight away you'll be able to see that it's a very highly reflective mirror and this is what helps us pick up any of the contamination or defects or anything what could be flowing through that airline. So this is a specially coated surface. They say not to touch it because any oils or grease from your fingers is going to give us a false reading when we do um, go to test our air, so try and keep um, away from touching the glass. The mirror itself is actually very deep, so this, with the glass being so deep, it helps highlight those imperfections or anything what's flowing through the airlines. So let's go ahead and we're going to use this and we're going to see if we can pick anything up um, through our airlines. Okay, so all I'm going to do is blow air directly onto the air tester for 30 seconds or thereabouts and then we'll check the uh, air tester to see what's on there. So directly straight onto the air tester around 5 millimeters away and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, so we've held that on there for about 30 seconds. We're going to give it a good visual inspection and we're going to check out the glass to see what's on there and see if there is anything we need to sort out. So we're just holding this air tester up to the light now and you can see a faint haze in the middle just around about here. And this is showing that the air tester has picked up that there is some form of contamination running through our airlines. So what we can tell now and just by looking at this, it, there is some form of oils or waters going through our airlines. So we now know that we need to look at our filters in the airlines to check to make sure they've been regularly serviced, make sure and check to see when there was last serviced as well. And it's looking like we're going to need to replace some of the filters as well to make sure that we can get rid of this contamination. This here could be the cause of why you're getting things such as silicons or other imperfections in your panels. So what we'll do now is, or what I'll do is I'll go back and we're going to check out the filters to make sure they are going to need changing um, and take it from there. So I definitely recommend getting the air tester um, if you are having problems, but it's also a really good tool to have as a painter to quickly diagnose these problems and then now we can quickly sort out the problems, help eliminate it and help get the spraying process underway without any form of problems. So thanks for watching, hope you found it some use.